saying that we need boundaries from the parents shame on you shame on you guys to... no son <laughs> son man um subhanallah this word boundaries okay i've been talking about boundaries uh you can get books about them and you can go watch um all of nadra tawab's videos and get her books and learn about the importance of having boundaries but it's funny that you're actually like it's 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 strange to me to hear people say well i have to have boundaries with you and saying the word boundaries and and introducing this terminology and actually saying the word boundaries when you're trying to establish boundaries with somebody boundaries are <laughs> for yourself for you to use that word and say okay i need more boundaries you know i'm exhausted i don't have any time for myself i am not enjoying very much of my life right now i need to take a step back i need to place some boundaries for myself but you go around especially to the older generation of people who who uh who you're trying to seek boundaries with saying the word boundaries is definitely going to trigger them it's going to give them a problem because boundary technically means a barrier something that's blocking you from them or blocking like protecting yourself from them this is a knowledge that we have inside we understand about boundaries and we understand that to have a healthy relationship you cannot put a boundary up that is going to infringe on someone else's boundaries but for you to actually use the terminology boundary for you to actually say it and like okay i have to it's subhanallah i i don't even know what that is but it's not helpful right um if you if you have proper boundaries then the relationships with everybody around you improve this is the this is the the catch 22 if you understand about boundaries then you know that if you're going to if you're going to make sure that there are boundaries that that's a behavior and that's a way of acting and that's a way of re- being responsible for your own life how you're going to deal with people how are you going to move forward how can you have a beneficial relationship with somebody without them taking too much from you of course with your parents especially as muslims we have to look after our parents we have to make sure that they're okay we have to look after their needs we have to look we have to be be careful of of hurting their feelings and insulting them And so if you're actually saying the word boundaries and you're saying that I need these boundaries because so and so outside of their family outside of their culture is telling them they need boundaries and that's that's like a no go right and of course you know there has to be a whole conversation had about that and explaining what a boundary is and whatever but you can avoid that by just not using that word it's for you it's for you to say okay you know your mother might call you up and she might want to insult you about something or she might want to like emotionally manipulate you or she might want to make you feel guilty or bad about something that's not wrong and you will say you will manage them you will manage that person by placing a boundary you don't say the word boundary you basically say um mama i'd like to speak with you when uh, at a later time this is not a good time for me this is not a good time for me to discuss this or you bring in somebody else to advocate for you and you deal with it like that there's a lot of different ways to handle these kinds of situations without harming yourself and without without allowing yourself to get harmed but to actually say the word boundary and to say okay i need boundaries the other person doesn't know what a boundary is they may be from a culture or from a from a whole perspective that that has zero boundaries you know uh when i've given my lectures and talks about these kind of issues and you know some of the people one of the sisters said i think everybody in my my country is a narcissist <laughs> subhanallah um so yeah so this is just to say boundaries are something that is for you is for what you tolerate and what you what you put up with and it is also for you it takes a lot more energy to erect boundaries around yourself and to look after yourself right it's very easy for people to just take advantage of you and you just go with the flow and just deal but then the residual effect of that is that you are you know miserable and you're feeling ill and you may end up with all kinds of chronic illnesses and everything because you you're dealing with the stress of not being happy and fulfilling everything in your life for other people as opposed to benefiting yourself so all that is to say you don't need to say the word boundaries and you don't need to make anybody else miserable the point is to improve the relationships with others and you do that by recognizing what you will and will not tolerate and being very creative and putting a lot of energy into erecting boundaries where there weren't any before when you don't have boundaries with a person and then you start erecting boundaries you have to be very creative very thoughtful very considerate the opposite of someone who's trying to you know uh, cross your boundaries you have to try very hard to make sure that those boundaries are there without upsetting the person and without causing damage to the relationship where you um where you have to make all these excuses and everything